Welcome back to daytime, everyone. You've gone through all the trouble of painting your walls a beautiful new color, only to be left with ugly switch plates. You don't have to buy new ones. Oh, no. Painting them can be a fun and easy project. Here with tips on how to do that is Jeff Monsine from Splat Paint. Good to have you here, Jeff. Hi. So I have never um, actually heard of painting your switch plates before. Actually, I tried that once, it was, and I failed miserably. I guess you have to prime them, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that would help. So let's go through the steps uh, to do this, and you're going to show us how easy it is, okay. right? The first thing that you need to do is make sure you turn off the electricity to that switch plate. Good point. Um, All right. Otherwise, it could be a very dangerous project. Do you remove it from the wall? Um, no, I don't, I don't like to do that, actually. I like to work with it in place because, especially if you're matching a pattern, right. wood or marble or granite or something like that, you, you need to really see what's next to it. So we try to work with it on, right on the wall. Okay, so you just tape it out around it. Right, that's what I've sort of shown here is we, we uh, loosen it up with, excuse me, sure. with a little screwdriver, sort of loosen up uh, this, the, the cover just a little bit mm -hmm. so that you can put a piece of tape behind it just like that. Makes sense. And then you can work with it right on, you know, right in the area. Where your backsplash is, perhaps? Exactly. Okay. Okay, and then the next thing you have to do is lightly sand it mm -hmm. because it's got, it's shiny and you need to have a little bit of uh, a, a tooth to it or otherwise it's, um, it, nothing's going to stick the to it. The paint will not adhere if exactly. we don't get a little sandpaper exactly. on and that. And you are going to be touching this from time to time in the, you know, in the sure. real world, so you really want it to stick well. So we do. You, you sand it and make sure you sand all the edges, especially these edges down here because you would not really think to do that and that's just as important. Okay. So you've got your primer on it, let it dry, and there are a million different primers that are out there. So, Is there one in particular that you really love? Um, Gripper is a great one Gripper. if you want a brand name. Okay, um, good. And just read the instructions and it'll tell you how long to let it dry and right. follow that because if you don't let it dry, it won't adhere. Don't be impatient. Exactly. Gotcha. And then you use a base color. Um, you can use little craft paints or you can use house paints or, or any kind of you know paint that you want. And you get your base color. And, and in this case, um, I chose colors that were in this little backsplash, you know, in the, in the background here. Look and at just that. sort of you know, kind of tamped them on like that, got my colors where I wanted them to be. Obviously, though, you know what you're doing, because it's not going to be as easy for some people to match those colors. Well, it's not, except that when you go to the store, you can sort of see what right. colors are in and pick the ones that you want, and it makes it a little bit easier. And the nice thing about paint is, if it doesn't work, you just paint over put it. some more paint on it. That is well done. That really blends. Thank you. And of course, you have to use a little tiny brush yes. and take your time. The proper tools are important. Right. You can exactly. do this with the, the wood look as well. Um, Let's say the side of the cabinet has this, you know, ugly switch plate. Not so great. Let's switch that out. Do a little painting. Exactly. And voila. Hey, hey, hey. It blends right in. And, and the way that this was done is, uh, again, following the lines. You just draw the grain lines as if they were still there. You know, follow the little pattern and then... What if somebody has no artistic ability whatsoever? Well, <laughs> then they it, call you, right? Well, they can call me, sure. <laughs> but it's really not that hard on a small scale. I thought this was a good project for Thanksgiving time because you can get it done in time for the holidays. Grandpa you know. can't find the electrical <laughs> outlet anymore. It exactly. blends in. And now, then here would be another example. Now, what kind of surface well, would that well, be? Well, I, again, I just tried to bring things in right. that were just different and, and just to show that it could be done on anything. I mean, really, even Marble. your regular... A marble backsplash or right. granite or whatever the case is, and so if you'll so here's do, our ugly do the magic of plate. camera. We have primed, we have taped, we waited, we bought paint, and look, lo and behold. And they go away. And you do have to seal them, so you choose a sealer and you just, you know, put a couple coats over it. Um, if it's flat, use a flat sealer. If it's shiny, use a shiny sealer. Pull your tape, you know, tighten your screws back in, and you should have a... Hopefully, if you've done a good job, you don't see your switch plate, and then I think you've, you've done your job. You certainly have, and you've saved some money there by not having to go out and switch out all your switch plates. Absolutely. Jeff, thank you very much. That was pretty easy. Hey, you can uh, link to Splat Paint by going to daytimeonline.tv. I've got some switch plates for you. Okay. <laughs> Coming up on daytime, it's a dream come true. I visit an ice cream factory. They are churning out goodness at Working Cow. We'll be right back. Enter Mind Bender Mansion.